Hi, this is Susan from Susan B Cards. Today I'm going to make this card. Um, I used some Simon Hurley solar paste on it and also the Alta New Whimsy Motif embossing folder. So to start with, I'm using a piece of six by six inch um, black cardstock. This is 110 pound. And I cut it to fit this embossing folder. I link everything in my um, description right underneath the video, but I know that some people are watching this on a TV um, and aren't able or don't know how to go down below. So um, I'm going to also put the information on my blog, which is susanbcards.blogspot.com. Um, and everything will be linked there, and you can see what I used. So these are squares. Uh, there's a number of them. And I can't really remember where I got these. I'm hoping they're still available. So just to line this up, I've kinda, I kind of I use the top of the embossing folders to see through this because I want to get a good amount of the floral in. Because here you can see... I got most of it, but then I also um, went off of the framed piece and onto the black and just embossed it there. Next, I'm going to take a piece of this mint tape. I use this all the time. I have a smaller roll, but I don't know where it is right now, so I'm just going to use this large piece. But this is also um, great for masking or dyes. This piece is large, and you can stamp on it and then use it as a mask if you're going to do a scene building. Um, but the other roll that I have is, I think it's one inch, and that one comes in really handy. So I'm just going to kind of keep my die in place here with that. And this is nice because it's low tack, and it won't rip your paper. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go run this through the Big Shot, and I'll be right back. There's a square and the frame. Now my card... I colored the frame green and everything else um, I colored in different colors. Okay, so I have my frame and I have the green solar paste, which is called Crocodile Tears. I have shown this in the past in my other videos, but in case you haven't seen it, I did some swatches, one on black paper. You can see um, the green is right here, the Crocodile Tears on white it looks much different. So you have to um, kind of put it in the light to see it. Now for this, I just use my finger. This is such a small amount. I always have a piece of scrap paper because once the paste dries, it's a lot harder to get off um, even the glass. You can um, easily take it off when it's wet with just a, a wet paper towel. But if you're pretty involved in what you're doing. You might miss a spot or forget to do it. And then later on, you're going to have to scrape it. And it's just much harder to get off. So I just always have a piece of scrap paper underneath when I'm working, whenever I'm working with any kind of paste, really. Now I'm getting some of the paste on this paper here. So I'm going to have to move this piece or it will be glued to this paper. So next I'm taking this spongy um, tool that I have. Um, these come off. You can get these from Ranger and my blending tools from scrapbook.com. I found that the sponges work better than the domes um, just because a dome shape kind of uh, doesn't evenly distribute the paste. It's fine for blending um, ink, but not really the paste. So I just put it on either. I put it on the paper. You can dip it in there too, or dip it into the cover. Sometimes I do that just to get a little, little bit of this off. It looks a little bit heavy here. So this is a small square. I'm just going to use a small amount. And as it dries, you'll be able to see it better. So I'm just putting it in a small area here. And then I just take a paper towel and I wipe it off in between colors. And at the end, I wash it out in the sink. If you um, don't wash it out, your sponge is going to get 
crusty and then you won't be able to really use it so you're better off just cleaning as you go so I'm just putting a small amount here I'm just blending it in a small area here I don't know if you can see that so this is the blue which is called beluga and I'm going to use uh, Cross My Heart. I should wipe this off in between as well. So again, just a small amount. You could tell this one's my favorite. It's almost gone. So, you know, as you get closer to the bottom, you really need to hurry and use this because there's so much air in here and it'll start to dry out. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of the Cross My Heart, which is a pink. And I just kind of swirl it on. Put a little bit of the Golden Owl, Hour. Another one of my favorites. But I really do like working with these colored pastes. And I think they're so pretty when you look at it in the light. So this one is overheated. And it's a little bit of the orange color. So I'm going to pick this up and be sure I have some coverage. I missed a spot here. I'm going to pick it up and you can you can see it in the light. And this is a thin coat, so this should dry pretty quickly, but I'm going to have to let that dry and I will be back. So I'm waiting for my panels to dry and I just wanted to show you the other cards that I made. This one is um, the same process, only I cut the panel to um, a two size, four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, I first cut the black panel, then I put the colors onto the panel, let it dry, and then I embossed it with a folder. So that's all one piece. This one is really just a test. I didn't. I don't really like the way this came out. Um, on this one, I embossed the black paper first. And then um, I tried coloring it in. You can see, I, I don't find it as nice um, when you color it after it's embossed. I think it's harder to see the definition. Now these two pieces are actually glued on. I had, um, I had some scrap paper that I had put some solar paste on and I just wanted to see what it would look like. So I embossed it after I had put the paste on, then I fussy cut it and glued it onto, onto this panel. I can't take it off because it's glued. The same with this one. This one was just done. This one I think is, um, I'm pretty sure this one is lunar paste. It looks pretty pigmented and dark. And then I went through and I decided to color, color the leaves green with the crocodile tears using my fingers again. And I got paste all over the edges. Some people wouldn't care. It looks a little bit artsy I guess um, just a, it's just a little bit harder to go in after embossing and um, just trying to get it on the leaves I don't know if you could use um, maybe a, a detail brush or a paintbrush maybe I haven't tried that at all so this one didn't come out as good and I didn't end up mounting it on paper but I did like the way these looked you know, you can take some of the scraps maybe that you have or experiment a little bit with the solar and the lunar paste and then emboss it and cut it out and glue it on. And it looks really nice and you can see it's it's pretty secure on there. I, I could rip it if I wanted to, but I'm gonna keep this as a sample. So I'm gonna put my um, panel back into the embossing folder. It's cut out and you can see that I placed the solar paste on both the frame and the square. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this knit tape 
and I'm going to keep it in place so that if I um, put it through the big shot more than once, it won't, hopefully it won't shift. I could do a little bit of the corner. I'm just gonna put a little bit here in this corner just to kind of keep it in place. So I put, I put the tape right here in these corners because there's really um, not much embossing. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit because otherwise the embossing will be on the tape and not where I want it, which is, whoops, which is a folder. So that'll just hold that down. So it might get miss a little bit here. Next, what I'm going to do is, you can see this is where the image is going to be. I'm gonna take the black archival ink and ink up this image here. Cause, because then it'll push this ink into the solar paste and it makes the image stand out a little bit more. Now I don't need it all over the, the background here. Um, I'm gonna try to wipe some of that wet ink off. Now remember that this archival ink is gonna stain the folder, but later you can take some um, isopropyl alcohol to clean it off. Um, I just wanna get a little bit there on the detail and then a little bit of these leaves. So that's what it should look like. And I'm gonna go and put it through the big shot and I'll be right back. So here's the reveal. And you can see it's, it's pretty nice. I did remove the tape and I did wanna show that it didn't pull up any of the um, solar paste, but I did carefully remove it. I didn't rip it, I, I carefully peeled it away but uh, it's good to know that it doesn't pull up the paste from the paper. This next part is uh, optional. I mean, you don't have to do anything you don't wanna do, but of course, this is your card. But um, what I did was I went through with this uh, Versamark embossing pen, and I'm going to just put some of the embossing um, powder on the raised areas. I tried using um, the pad and just rubbing it over the raised areas, but it was too small um, of an amount of embossing. You know, um, it just got all over the back of the panel. So I'm gonna try to quickly do this. Just lifting it up to kind of see where the shine is. Oh, I got a little bit on the background there, but that's easy enough to um, wipe away with a brush. So I'm just going to do that small area, and then I'll do the rest later. I want to hurry and do this so that the embossing ink doesn't dry. So just pour it over the top. You can see the shine right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it on these small areas here. So here's the panel. Uh, the black areas are clear, heat embossed, and um, the spotlight with the archival ink in the embossing is like this. I have a black A2 card that I just cut. I just found it's a little bit easier to put this all onto a black card. Um, I like to use white cards, but then you run the risk of seeing the edge of the white just a little bit on the side. So I thought I'll just glue it onto a black card and then I'll stick a piece of white paper on the inside. But I did wanna show, um, if you use one of these small bottles or you use some kind of fine tip, 
um, to put on your glue. It makes everything much easier. I bought this bottle um, from Hobby Lobby, but I know that I've seen them at Michael's and I know Gina K also has some of these as well. So you can easily put that together. I'll take this apart because it's not just to be sure that I'm layering this evenly. You don't want it uneven or it's going to be hard to place back into the card. And there you go. It's fine. So you can see how this looks. Um, it's got three layers all together. I glued the um, background onto the black card. You can see the way everything matches up. So I'm going to glue this onto here. I'm going to have to again put glue around the frame and on this piece so that it'll stay since it's two separate pieces. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please like, comment, subscribe. I listed all the products I use underneath the video in the description and also on my blog at susanbcards.blogspot.com.